Hey guys, uh, Barry here with Geek Out Studio, and I'm just going to uh, kind of show you a method for weathering your armor. Uh, here I have my ODST uh, shoulder pauldron. I primed it, and then I spray painted it with a kind of a obviously a silver metallic color. And now what I'm actually going to use is I'm going to use this Woodland Scenics uh, latex rubber. Uh, you can pretty much find this at most craft stores or really anywhere that uh, sells uh, model railroads or uh, railro model railroading um, things. And so this and then just a, a one inch uh, chipping brush. And, I, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to be masking off where we want our armor chips. Um, and generally what you want to do is you want to kind of think in, think in terms of how this would actually be used and get worn. So more often than not, uh, most of your armor chips are going to be along uh, leading edges. Um, and with a shoulder, uh, with a shoulder area, uh, most of it's probably going to be coming from the front angle as as a person is moving forward, or in the case of this ODST, when they uh, when they slam up against a wall to uh, for cover and everything. Uh, but just to uh, get get things uh, started, you want to get um, you, know, you want to get a, a a decent amount. You don't want a, a whole lot, and then. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just kind of stipple it on. So probably a couple. And, and then you can just kind of slash it uh, like that. And that will give you uh, scratches and scrapes. Uh, my general idea with, uh, with weathering is... Um, there's 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 a couple of some people would you know say you know just like scratch this thing all up but I'm I'm generally of the opinion that uh, less and less is more uh, because with uh, with armor or any kind of equipment too much weathering uh, will show the equipment there's a chance for the equipment to uh, fail at that point so but because this we're going to say this is the front we're going to put some you know scratches along here um, and then you know kind of just right like that I've got some decals I'm going to put up here so I'm not really going to um, damage that too much uh, But you also got to think because of this is a ODST, you know, they're going to be jostled in the uh, drop pod. So really, it's just kind of imagine uh, how this would actually get damaged. So, and what's nice is with the uh, the liquid uh, latex, and you can pretty much use you know any kind, any brand that you one I, I just you know use the woodland scenics but now what's nice is if I if I think this is like too much I can actually go and wipe it off um, but generally what I will I'll now allow this to you know dry but once it's dry um, what what'll be nice is I can layer on um, several colors since I'm doing a camo scheme. It's quite nice um, uh, for this is nice for uh, layering, and I think I think that'll be I think that'll be good. I think this no that, that's good. It's just kind of you know judge. I think uh, I think overall that's that's good. We'll get a nice you know some uh, edge details and everything maybe a little bit more here and what's nice about the the latex 
is that you can get you know some pretty fine scratches just you know by just you know just kind of touching it but once the uh, the latex dries it'll it'll mask that area but you can lay on multiple layers but then once you're ready to uh, once you're done it'll peel right off which I'll show you um, later on in this video it'll probably be a couple of days because I generally let this dry overnight and then I'll put on my colors so we'll check back when this is uh, all done and ready and I'll show you the reveal okay guys it's been a couple of days since I uh, uh, put on the latex so it's dried as you can see I've fully painted it uh, the shoulder pad up let the paint dry and now we're going to take the latex off. I actually use uh, Gorilla Tape, which has got a bit of a stronger adhesive than duct tape. And really all you do, let's see how strong. And generally I just make a little loop and then start going through and pull it off. And you can see that it's, and of course it'll build up so you have to kind of move to a different spot, but you can see where all the latex was, and, and you can see that it's not really pulling up the paint, and so you just go around on the uh, shoulder pad. But there you go. Pretty much a uh, weather chip uh, shoulder pad. Uh, I generally, I play conservative on my weathering. I know some people would weather more, some people would le weather less. Um, but generally, from my thinking, is that the shoulders, particularly uh, this part of the shoulder, would uh, receive significant wear and tear from you know slamming into cover slamming into the uh, uh drop pod and everything as well as just you know running through rubble debris whatever so that's why you know this edge i particularly uh weathered uh but you know like the the fronts are fairly uh okay but that's that's how I uh, weather. Uh, next, I'll pro I'll show you how I uh, add a little bit more weathering by adding uh, dirt uh, elements, uh, dirt to it. And so, but uh, feel free to uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions. Uh, write them in the questions uh, below or comments below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, for more videos. See you.